What's up guys, it's your boy Sauce Guy Jeremy and we back with another Madden franchise video man We are going against the Tennessee Titans, this video is week 10 um, They're not really that good, they're 0-8 um, Yeah, literally the worst team in the league um, They haven't got a single win in this, in this 10 weeks into the season So yeah, they're garbage Should be a free win for us because uh Oh boy, we got the 49ers next week, and that ain't gonna be a, uh, as easy as this one. So uh, yeah, so we should take care of business. Uh, we at home, um, but uh, let's check out these stats so far. We're 10 weeks in, eight more weeks to go. But uh, this is what we're looking at, looking like um, so far: 1,800 yards. Um, 15 passing touchdowns to nine interceptions. So uh, interceptions are a little high, but hey, we we are a rookie, and yeah, we're gonna make mistakes. You know what I mean? Um, Rashad for the rushing 797. So uh, he's gonna easily hit that a thousand yards mark, and you know, he keep giving us the production he has been giving us all year so far, and uh. Yeah, I'm sitting at 510 yards rushing. So, yeah, with seven touchdowns, he got six rushing touchdowns. Receiving, Mike Evans, our leading receiver, uh, 41 catches, set 624 receiving yards, seven touchdowns. And Chris Godwin is our second leading receiver with 583. And then K. Odden. So, yeah, that's what we're looking like um, offensively. Um, yeah, man, let's jump right into it, man, without further ado. Uh, yeah, should be an easy W. Hopefully it is, you know what I mean? But you never know with Madden, you know what I mean? So, let's go. It's Madden NFL 24, and our focus is on Rashad White. He had the D's number a week ago, over 150 yards rushing. It's the Bucks and the Titans, next on Madden Football. Few better places in the country weather-wise this time of year than this one right here, Tampa, Florida, and beautiful Raymond James Stadium. Today, we hit double digits week 10, and we've got a great one in store as it'll be the Tennessee Titans taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Hi again, everyone. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, you take a look at this Buccaneer ball club. They come in playing pretty good football. Winners of four of their last six games. And if you look back to last week, it was all about their defense. And it's all right, let's go. Let's <clears throat> get it. First play of the game. Started off like we always do with a run. They start to drive with oh yeah, well, that's what I'm talking about. 20 yard game, first play of the game. Let's go. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. That's what we like. Start off the game strong. They stay on the ground with White. They'll get this up to about the 44. But the numbers for White a week ago. Two trips to the end zone and well past 100 yards. Okay. And going back and watching the film, we saw every kind of run from him, didn't we? We saw some power. We saw finesse. We saw speed. And what I love the most, he finished each and every one. Nice little check down right there. Take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Give up the middle. This is white. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards. Right, right. You talk about this Titan defense. Now they're currently 21st, Charles, in the NFL against the run. And when people talk about facing a challenge, they are certainly getting one in this ball game because oh my the pressure comes and the Titans able to bring him down. I did not see him at all. Terrell Edmonds comes flying in from safety for the sack. I did not see him at all. I was completely blind. Third and sixteen. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Nope. Oh. 
This man Edmonds again. All right, well, we got a three and out. Couple first downs, and then the drive just stalled out right there. Great. But the defense holds up. Oh, my God, we forced a turnover. We are in the red zone right now. All right, we can just punch it in. They'll go up the middle with White. And he'll take this one inside okay. the 10 down to the 8. Defense has been playing great the last couple of weeks, last three weeks. We're on a four-game uh, winning streak after going one and three. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. Start the season. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. Touchdown. Godwin's got it. Touchdown. What a dot. Oh, boy. Great effort there. His fourth touchdown of the year. And the Bucs use the early turnover to get on the board <laughs> oh, first here in this one. See what happens when I have time. Look at that. Look at that clean pocket. I can survey the field and just precisely throw the ball to where I want it to go. You see? But anytime I don't have a time in the pocket, I either get sacked or I have to rush a throw, which leads to a lot of mistakes. Okay. But we get the ball back. Uh, they scored a field goal that their last drive. Still got the lead. They'll set up to throw. That's complete to the receiver Gatwood. He had a touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. Mm, but in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Another catch. Another dot. Another first down. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there, and it's a first down. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you got to run fast. Of course, you got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness. Yeah, that didn't go nowhere. There's a premium for all of that now. Officially, no gain on the play, and it's second down. Looking to throw. Dancing to his left. And a quick shuffle pass here is complete. All right. And they'll get this just to the 47. One yard gain. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Let's go. That's complete. And he's going to have another first down. What a guy. Keep the drive alive. Third down as the drive rolls on. They go play action here on first down. Another dot. Looking for Gatwood again, and he's got him once more. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15 yard line. That's good for 28 yards. We're lighting up the secondary. There's a first and 10 at the 14 yard line. On a handoff, it's White. Oh, yeah. And he can't quite get there. Tap good run, good run. run. Punching in, man. Punching in. White. Let's go. He heard it that much. <laughs> he had to jump over. Let's go. So he had the nice line to get him down there. Was stopped just short of the goal line, but they go right back to him. See, huh. the finish the drive off. A little extra determination there. Let's go. Partner, you notice he didn't tap on his helmet and say, "Get me out." All right, defense gives up a touchdown. But we get the ball back with a minute and 35 before halftime. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Let's go. It's caught by Mike Evans. 
Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. We got plenty of time. We already in field goal range. Said, hey, we could capitalize on him getting the ball, possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense. Ah, just out of range. Going back inside. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game. It has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Right. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. Got it. Oh, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 14. Ike the damn ball. Again, he'll drop the throw, eluding the pressure right. And he'll be out of bounds. Let's go. What a catch, Godwin. Had to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Back to throw again. Touchdown. Let's go. Great clock management. Excellent clock management by me. We score a touchdown before half. So we go up by two scores. Let's go. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Get the ball to start the, uh, to start the second half. Let's go. They'll come out throwing here on first down. This is Let's go. And he's going to be out up around the 45 yard line. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two score lead in the third quarter. They almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this oh point, goodness. this is a great spot for them. Who, to who, who didn't block him? Really try Why was he just free running into the backfield, man? What is that? Back to throw now on second and ten. No, I knew it. No, I knew it. I freaking knew it. Oh, I should have just threw it away. Should have threw it away. What a costly turnover. Yeah, I have an interception problem. I'm sorry. I'm turning. I'm like Josh Allen out here. He has to throw his his, his freaking interception every game. 62 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. So quickly, it wouldn't be a game without me throwing an interception. Line. Holy shit. They keep it on the ground right again. And slow going there as he'll only get a yard, maybe up to the 41. They went right back to it, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? Oh my goodness. Should have ran. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion wise way up. Not that time. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Let's go. Got Ah, holy smokes. 
That's called max protection, and they didn't protect anything. <laughs> called max protection, they didn't protect a damn thing right there. Another catch. Another dot. I'm gone, 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 I'm gone. Let's go. First and goal. Wow, that went backwards. I was trying to do a do a little quick pass. Let's go. Thank you, Mike. Come in clutch for me. Let's go. And two point conversion. Let's go. All right, we stop them on their last drive. Oh, he almost broke that. He almost broke that. Oh my lord, what a truck. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he is running through they defense. Keep running it. Keep running it. They can't stop it. Same play, same play. Another first down. Alright, that's gonna take us to a fourth quarter. Read option, let's go. I agree with that. Let's just go big picture, right? Every back that's in the Hall of Fame had carries where they didn't gain yardage or they lost yardage. Let's go. Oh, got him. Got him. Let's go. What a, what a play call right there. Oh, gotcha, stupid ass. Let's go. Of a put away drive. Yeah, it certainly just pops right up out of the book, doesn't it? Because we'll start with the option. Nifty move there on the run, but ultimately brought down at the 25. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. The 
Play action fake. They'll look to throw. On the move to I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 23 yards on the tuck and run. Now a play fake here on first down. Oh my and goodness. How? Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Looking like Justin Just Fields out here missing fucking throws. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Here's second and ten. They'll set up a throw. Damn it! Oh boy. Will cause a little bit of angst for the play caller because you know they worked all week. Come on. Flexing the tight end out and making him a matchup issue for the defense. They had what they wanted. There we go. There we go. Mike been coming in clutch with the catches all day. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Another dot. He's gonna have the hook up to gauge. And he's gonna get this down near the 20 yard line. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Dot. And it's in. Oh. Couldn't connect. Ooh, we. That would have been lit. That would have been lit. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Sliding out of the pocket. It's one complete to Durham. Five All yards. Right. Now it's third and five. Two thirty-four yards, yards passing for today. That was a take what you can get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Oh. Third down, they take a shot at the end zone. But it's we'll incomplete. take three. <laughs> Whether that's a little grabbing, a little I'm trying to, I'm trying to any means improve my stats, okay? I'm stat padding right now. I'm trying to get all the passing touchdowns, okay? Still got two minutes. Oh, my God. They just turned the ball right back to us. Once again, it's white. Touchdown. His way into the end zone for a touchdown. Rashad White with his second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season. And the Buccaneers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. You talk about certain guys just having a nose for the end zone. He's one of them, and he was not going to be denied there. And defensively, especially in the red zone, you've got to be able to at least slow him down and hold on for dear life. But he's able to get up a couple of tackles there, and not enough people got there in time. Pretty poor on the defensive side of the ball. All right. Twenty four seconds left. I'm not gonna lie. Screw it. I want a stat pad. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Dot. And he gone. Let's go. <laughs> Show no mercy to the enemy. Let's go. Pass to pad the that's that's four passing touchdowns. 54 to 30. Let's go. That's how you destroy a bad team. You show no mercy to them. Have a little something to clean up before their next contest. Yeah, neither end zone had a stop sign and it did that. I mean, for both sides, visit it and with frequency. Not fun to be a defensive player, but on the offensive side of the ball, those guys had a blast 
one team came away with a victory. All right, let's go. That's going to do it for a video. Um, so for the Buccaneers, the well I love y'all. Uh, let's let's look at these stats the though real quick. They will hit the road next 309, 22 of 32, four touchdowns, Meanwhile one pick. Rashad had 19 for 122 touchdowns. I rushed for four for 71 in the touchdown. Mike had six for 94, and Chris had six for 141. Yeah, we went crazy. That's going to do it for a video, though. I hope y'all guys enjoyed it, and I will see y'all in the next one.